hello good evening all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to pass value from sale order to invoice in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorial so the point that we will be discussing is about how to pass value from sale order to account dot invoice so in one of our previous video in order to show the working of inheritance in Odoo that is how to inherit an existing model we already have created a video and shown you how to add a new field to sale dot order model so if I go to the sales module and if I try to create a new quotation here you can see we have a field called confirmed user ID which is a custom field that we have added from our custom module so the intention of this video is we all know that from sale order we can create an invoice so let's try to create a sale order so I'll select the customer as Odoo mates and I'll add a product to the order line and I'll click on save and you can see currently the confirmed user ID field is empty and it will be getting filled upon clicking the confirmed button. So you can see currently the value of confirmed user field is Mitchell admin which is currently locked in user. Now let me complete the delivery of the product. So I'll click on validate and I'll deliver the product to the customer. Now I'll come back to the sales and what we have to do is that we have to create the invoice for this sales so we can use the create button create invoice button so i'll choose a regular invoice create and view invoice and you can see a invoice has been generated in the system so currently we have created an invoice from the sale order so during that we have to pass the value from the confirmed user field to the field that we have added inside the account dot move model so if i come to the pie charm here we have the custom add-ons folder and we have om Odoo inheritance module which we will be using to show the development of inheritance we will be showing the inheritance inside this module so if you open the module if you open the models in sale order we have a field called confirmed user id and in account dot move model we have a field called so confirmed user id that is what you are seeing here so what ha what has to happen is one clicking create invoice the field value has to be passed to the invoice generated so let's see how we can achieve that in Udo. so in order to achieve this first of all what you have to do you have to trace how the invoice is getting generated from the sale order so if i take a quotation so here we have a quotation and let me confirm that so you can see confirm the user has a value and this button so this button let me complete the delivery validate and if you come to the sales you can see the button is showing as action id 287 so if i click on that we are getting a wizard and from this wizard we are creating the invoice so as the debug mode is activated and i'm as i have placed the mouse over that button you can see the method that getting executed on clicking the button is create invoices so let's go to the code and let's see this function so we will be going into the Udo source code so here this is the Udo source code I'll go to the sales module so let me scroll down and let's see the sales module so here we have the sales module and I'll search for the function diff create invoices diff create invoices so this is the function that getting executed on clicking this button create invoices so i have taken the corresponding function now let's see what is happening inside this function so here we are taking the sale orders and if it is already delivered we can see here we are calling here not we are or is calling a function sale orders dot create invoices so there is a function called create invoices so as the name suggests I think this function will be responsible for creating invoice so let's check so this function is inside this model env sale dot order so here I will check diff function will start with diff and I'll paste the copied function create invoices so here you can see 
this is the function and if you check the comment create the invoice associated to the so so we can assume and confirm this is the function which is creating the associated invoice and if you just go down and here you can see you have got two lines prepare invoice order dot prepare invoice so if we check this prepare invoice function here you can see prepare the dict of values to create the invoice for a sale order so if you check here you can see these are the function that maps or that returns a dictionary which you can see the function is returning a dictionary which is this one and what we are doing what Odo is doing prepare invoice this is getting as invoice wells and if you check the invoice wells this is appended into this list and this list is used to create the invoice so what we have to do is that we have to get override we have to inherit this function we will super this function and we will pass our new value inside this dictionary so what we have to do is that we have to inherit diff prepare invoice function in sale order model so this is our module om auto inherit auto OM Odoo inheritance. So here I will diff, I will enter as follow diff duplicated. So let me paste it again. So we have copied the function name. Then what we have to do? We have to super. So I'll click on so I'll write address equal to which is a variable equal to super. I'll call super of that function and I'll return the variable return address or instead of words i'll name it as invoice vals because it's the value that create invoice and let's print it here and see what happens print invoice vals so i have just super that function and the print this value so this is the return of this thing and i have printed it here so let's restart and see what happens now so i'll go to the ui and click on create view invoice and if you check the log you can see you are getting the values like this you are getting currency medium source and you, you can see a lot of values is coming inside that one so from here what we have to do we have to add to this dictionary so if you check the data type that we received here it's a dictionary so i can add the new value as follows invoice vals of field name i'll keep it like this and which value i have to pass self dot confirmed user id confirmed user id dot id so let me close all the other tabs close others and let me remove this and let me take the model so in account move we have the field is so confirmed user id so we have to pass the value to this field so here i'll specify invoice vals of so confirmed user id equal to self dot confirmed user id dot id so we have to take care of the data type here it is many to one field and here it is many to one field so i have to pass id so if it is a character field you have to pass the name so in that case you can put dot name so right now both are same model i can pass the id so simply i have done like this so for the currently created record you can see so confirmed user id is empty so after that i have added this thing so let's see what happens right now so i'll restart the service let's create a new sale order and see so let me click on create select the customer add a product customizable desk confirm click on save on confirming it's mitchell admin now let me create the invoice i'll deliver let me complete the delivery apply and if i create invoice you can see it's so confirmed the user id is coming as mitchell admin so this is how you can pass the value from sale order to invoice in urdu so in your case it might be different function so in that case what you have to do is that just try to trace how the current values are passed to that record and you have to inherit that method and add your new value so if you enjoy this video please do click the like button and support us by having a like comment and share so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you